Good morning students. Today I am Anjit Man here to teach you grade 6 science chapter 1 food and its sources. Food is very important for our life. So let us understand what is food and why do we need food. Food contains various energy producing substances called nutrients. For example carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, minerals. We eat food to provide nutritional support to the body. All living beings need food for their growth as well as for their survival. The next thing is to do any kind of activity. For example, studying, dancing, playing, cooking, watching TV. And even for thinking, we need energy. This energy we get from food. Food is required for the recovery of the damaged cells. For example, when we get injured, how our wounds are healed? Our wounds are healed because our body gets regular nourishment from the food. So, food is essential for the recovery of the damaged cells. Food makes us healthy and strong. So, we can say food is very important for us. Food is our primary need. Next is staple food. The food items that is eaten in major portions in daily routine is staple food. For example, in North India, we eat chapatis every day. So for North Indians, chapatis are staple food. And in South India, people eat rice every day and the dishes made with the rice every day. So for the South Indians, rice is the staple food. Okay, now staple food is clear. The food items that is eaten in major portions in daily routine is staple food. Now move on to the next slide. Next slide is food items and ingredients. There is so much variety in the food that we eat. For example, we eat various kinds of fruits, vegetables, various, various kinds of dishes like pizza, burger, various types of sweets. Have you ever thought what are these sweet, these food items made up of? Food items are made up of ingredients. Ingredients are the materials that are required to prepare a dish or food item. This will be more clear with the examples that are given below in this table. First example is chapati. To make chapati, we need wheat flour and water. So the ingredients are wheat flour and water. The next example is vegetable curry. To make vegetable curry, we need vegetable, salt, spices, oil or ghee and water. Next example is samosa. To make samosa, we need maida, potato, spices, salt, water, oil or ghee. Spices are very common ingredients. Spices add taste to our food as well as color to the food. For example, coriander powder, turmeric powder and chili powder. These are some examples of spices. Next example is kheer. To make the kheer, the ingredients are milk, rice and sugar. Now, we are clear with the ingredients. Ingredients are the materials that are required to prepare our dish or food item. Let's move on to the next slide. In the previous slides, we have learned about the ingredients of the food items. But here we will learn about the sources of ingredients of food items. We will take three examples here. In the first example, the food item explained is vegetable curry. The ingredients for the vegetable curry are vegetable, salt, spices, oil or ghee and water. What are the sources of ingredients? What are the sources of these ingredients? Vegetables we get from plants. Spices also we get from plants. And oil 
also we get from the plants because oil is extracted from the oil seeds and oil seeds we obtain from the plants so oil is a plant product but ghee is a animal product because ghee is prepared from butter butter is prepared for milk and milk we obtain from the animals because milk is an animal product so ghee is also a animal product water is a natural resource and salt we get from the sea water so the sources of the ingredients here animals and plants for this example sources of ingredients are both animals and plants now let's move on to the next example here the food item is kheer ingredients are milk rice and sugar Mil ingredients for kheer are milk rice and sugar the sources for these ingredients are both animals and plants because milk we get from the animals and rice and sugar we get from plants the third example is idli the ingredients for making idli are rice urad dal salt and water the sources of these ingredients are only plant because rice and urad dal we get from plants so we have observed that in the third example sources of ingredients are only plants but in the first and second example sources of ingredients are both animals and plants so we have learned that there are two sources of our food animals and plants let's move to the next slide we learned from the previous slide there are two sources of our food plants and animals let's move to next slide in this slide we will study plants as source of food in detail we know that plants are the source of our food so first let us understand different parts of plant green plants are called producers because they produce their own food by the process of photosynthesis revising again green plants are the producers because they produce their own food by the process of photosynthesis this this portion that is below the ground is root these are the fruits of the plant these are the leaves of the plant this portion is stem these are the flowers of the plant we eat different parts of the plant like flowers fruits leaves stems and roots as food yes you are surprised to hear that we eat leaves stems and roots also as food but it is true i will explain this in the upcoming slide these are the fruits of the plant that we eat as food here the examples are mango and tomato yes tomato is also fruit because it develops from a flower like flower like structure and it also has seeds there there are variety of fruits that we get from the plants like mango banana pineapple etc so we get variety of fruits and vegetables from the plant that we eat as food this is sugar cane that we that is the sugar part of the that, sorry sugar cane is the stem part of the plant that we eat as food sugar cane is ganna we get sugar from the sugar cane so sugar cane is a stem part of the food stem part of the plant that we eat as food these are the root part of the plant that we eat as food carrots and beetroots these are carrots and beetroots that we eat as the root part of the plant as food these are cabbage and spinach these are the leaf part of the plant that we eat as food these are also known as green leafy vegetables these are cauliflower and broccoli these are the flower plant of the flower flower 
part of the plant that we eat as food so as we discussed in the earlier slide we eat fruits stem roots leaves and the flower of the of the plant as food here we will study about the edible roots as we studied earlier we eat the root part of the plant also as food these are the examples carrot turnip carrot turnip radish beetroot these are below the ground these are found below the ground so these are the root part of the plant that we consume as food now the next is edible stems examples are potato onion ginger garlic stems of some plants also are eaten as food in the some plants stems are below the ground they are called underground stems examples are potato onion ginger and garlic these are the underground stem that we consume as food next is edible flowers examples are cauliflower and broccoli these are the flower part of the plant that we eat as food next is edible leaves we eat leaves of some plants examples are cabbage cabbage and spinach cabbage and spinach are the leaves part of the plant that we eat as food these are called green leafy vegetables and these are mint and coriander these are also the leaves of the plant that we eat as food that we eat as food mint and coriander are used to make chutney next are the edible seeds various cereals like wheat wheat rice maize these are also the edible seeds that means these are also eaten as food wheat and rice are the staple food in indian diet pulses and soya bean these are also edible seeds these are very rich source of protein in the peas the edible part is seed in the peas the part that we eat is seed these are the mustard seeds from the mustard seeds mustard oil is extracted that is used for making various food products now we will discuss animals as a source of food in this image various animal products has been shown that we eat as food milk butter curd cheese ghee egg chicken mutton fish and honey these are the animal products that we eat as food milk milk we get from some animals like cows buffaloes and goats some milk products are butter cream cheese and curd milk products are commonly called dairy products next is eggs we get eggs from hen duck and goose but hen's egg is most commonly eaten next is meat meat of animals like chicken goat and sheep is commonly eaten in some countries meat is eaten on the daily basis so for those countries meat is the staple food honey bees collect nectar from the flowers nectar is the sweet juices present in the flowers bees convert this nectar into honey because nectar cannot be preserved for the long so bees convert this nectar into honey and they then they store the honey into their hives because honey can be stored for long this honey can be obtained from the beehives by scraping them off honey is a natural sweetener honey is also used as medicine so milk eggs meat and honey these are the animal products that we eat as food let's revise again there are two sources of our food plants and animals we have studied both these sources of our food of our food in detail in this video in the next video we will discuss the topic food habits of animals thank you